In 1988, a new round of testing rocked the world. Three labs performed radiocarbon dating on a small sample of the cloth, and the results suggested a date between 1260 and 1390 AD. Headlines declared the shroud a medieval forgery. Skeptics rejoiced, but within years, researchers began finding problems. The sample came from a corner that had been repaired with medieval thread after a fire in 1532. Those fibers were chemically different from the rest of the cloth. When modern chemical analysis isolated the untouched areas, the results showed much older material, consistent with linen from the first century. Even pollen grains found on the shroud matched those from ancient Jerusalem and the Dead Sea area. So the mystery deepened again. If the shroud is fake, why does it contain first century botanical material, Middle Eastern dirt, and an image science still cannot recreate? Think about it. In a world before lenses, chemicals, or cameras, a single moment in time may have been captured with divine precision. If Christ's resurrection released a burst of glorified energy, the same power that defeats death, that radiant surge could have imprinted his image on the cloth surrounding him. In other words, the first photograph in human history might not have come from human hands at all, but from the hands of God. John 1, 4 to 5 says, in him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it.